Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We're going to start playing through RimWorld. It's a, it's a story generator game where everything can go wrong, losing is part of the fun, and it's enjoyable. I've played a lot of it in the past. We're going to be focusing mainly on the core game with the new Anomaly DLC. Now, the thing is, I have not played this game in a very long time. In at least four or five years, so things have changed. There have been updates, there have been DLCs, so I'm going to be a little bit lost. Things won't work quite as I expect them to, and that's going to be part of the fun. I've set up a custom scenario, so this is the scenario we're running. Uh, we're going to use Cassandra Classic, and we're going to do probably Adventure Story, because I've not played in a long time. Oh, and we should probably do Commitment Mode. No saves coming here. If you want to play along, this is what we're using. So the place we have decided to settle on is this mountainous region. It is in this little enclave of mountains here. It is just west of Mount Hardy Monkey, north of the Aurelia Bush, and south of the Lagua Woodland. The coordinates are 12.87 north and 27.48 west. This little tile here is exactly what we're going to do. The map size is set to 300 by 300. The starting season set to auto. These are the starting conditions that we are going to use. And the last thing to cover. The seed is mortar and the coverage is 30% and everything is set to normal. So we've got a selection of four from 10. So we need people. These are supposed to be marines, so we need people who are going to be good at shooting. You know what? I think that's probably a good selection of people. We've got Inner Webster, the musical kid turned space marine, who is good at shooting things, beating things up, and being an artist, but has an interest in construction, surprisingly enough. We have Una Tate, the apocalypse survivor turned evangelist, who's good at shooting, likes beating things up, is interested in animals, is interested in art, and can do some social things but apparently really likes it. We've got Jane Lee Jash Harara, who is good at construction, good at mining, good at tending to plants, is good at, relatively good at shooting, and is an apocalypse survivor as well, turned colony settler. And finally we've got Vance Murray, who is good at shooting, interested in construction, is okay at cooking, okay at socializing, but is also quite smart. Uh, you're incapable of being an artist, and you are a child spy turned human computer, which is pretty good. So I think this is our team of four. Let's just quickly survey our map. Oh, okay, we can't escape out the north. That is interesting. I don't understand how that works then, because the south is impassable, according to the overall map, but we can't escape to the north. The north is just completely and utterly mountainous. That's gonna be interesting. So we've got entranceways to the east, the south, and the west. It looks like we're about to land here. So in terms of defensible positions, this is quite a nice defensible position. We do get access to that steam geyser there. Ideally, I want to make a mountain base up this way, but that will be quite easy to do because we can just wall off there, build our base up this way. There are existing ruins down to the south. In fact, quite a few existing ruins to the south. I heard a muffalo, and there is our food. Okay. And there's the monolith. This DLC is centered all around this monolith here. It's like a Lovecraftian horror-esque kind of thing. Okay, well the good news is, this is a nice sort of defendable area. So I think let's unpause and get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is reclaim all of our meals. And I think the other thing we're going to need to do is probably... Yeah, that's a long way around, so I'm going to want to dig a hole through that mountain there that we can put a door onto. Let's quickly also set up work assignments. Now we can put these guys on mining duty as well, because we can force them to do it that way. Um, currently, let's make hauling priority number one. So yeah, it is 6 o'clock in the morning on the 1st of April, May, 5500. Let's get to work. So our marines have landed. Oh, you guys need to put all your gear on. That is the first thing you need to do. Right. So, we have a bunch of starting gear. This is, this is a squad of marines that have been dispatched to investigate this mysterious monolith. They have just landed on the planet and all their gear fell out the drop pods, so they just need to quickly grab all their gear. So our best shooter is Webster, so you can have the charge rifle. Murray, you're a six. You know, you're an eight. Jean Jash, you are also a six. So Gina, uh, you know, you get it next. Uh, you can have one of the assault rifles. Jash, you are a six. 
and you're also not very shooting inclined, so you can have the heavy SMG. And last but not least, ye Murray. You are good at shooting and you're interested in it. So, you can grab the assault rifle, and you guys can all go about doing your things that you need to do. Oh, you guys started with lab coats. Interesting, okay. So, we need beds, we need places to stay. Now, who is our miner? Uh, work schedule, everyone can mine. Jash, you are our main miner, dude. So I need you to prioritise mining that sleep there. Just so that we can cut through to the other side of the map a lot quicker. Yep. Prioritise that one. Ancient danger? Oh, are you shitting me? It's right there! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so... As Jash draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why. But she feels that this dusty structure may contain great danger. So the ancient danger is right there. Which, I mean, doesn't really mess up my plans. But it's not brilliant. Mario's noticed an ancient monolith partly buried nearby. If you investigate it, you could learn more. Okay, uh, who is responsible for cutting? Uh, it's Jash as well. Of course it is. And he's also our builder, so Jash is our do-everything kind of guy. Which is not ideal. I'm gonna put a door on there. We do want to enclose this area here a little bit. So you can wander the map hauling stuff. Well, Webster and Jash and Murray prepare this area for just work. Uh, research. So we've started with passive coolers unlocked, complex clothing, smithing, complex furniture, and stone cutting in the basics. Uh, we've also got electricity, auto doors, hydroponics, air conditioning, machining, gunsmithing, and pups and turrets. We've also got geothermal power and nutrient paste. So all in all, we've got a decent starting amount of research. Okay. Sorry, buddy, but I need you to get on this. There isn't enough time to sit in cloud watch, I'm afraid. We need to establish a forward operating base and get ourselves secure. So you can now build ourselves some beds. Uh, we do need to put down a table as well, otherwise they will get upset. Yeah, let's put a table there and some chairs. How many meals have we got? We've got 12. So that they normally go through two meals a day, so that will last us not very long at all. Why are you taking so long to build dining chair? I thought you were supposed to be good at construction. You are. Okay, apparently building a chair takes a fair few hours. Okay, so we definitely need to get more wood. That's going to be a priority. Um, but we're also going to need food. Because we are very le dangerously low on food. We have 12 meals left, which is... Not enough. A day and a half. This is good. So while Jash is busy cutting down trees, everyone else is just going to quickly mine. Oh, there's a bunch of corpses in there. Why is there a bunch of corpses? Had for three years, two years, two years. Okay, interesting. Were they there when we started? I don't remember them being there when we started. Okay, guys, you need to move it along. Hurry it up, please. So our kitchen area is pretty much done. I should probably go dumping the zone. Not too far away, but just for bits and bobs, chunks and corpses. That'll do. Where are you off to now? Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Drop that. I do not want you to grab the corpses. I don't know where those corpses have been. I don't remember them being there at the start. I mean, I could be wrong. I wasn't paying too much attention when we landed. But yeah, I'd rather not find out. So butcher table goes in there. We want the fueled stove up in there. I'm going to need to do something about food tomorrow, otherwise things are going to get very scary. We did not start with nearly enough food. Everyone else is inside clearing out a nice room for us. Josh is going to go out and cut down some trees. Oh, I need steel for that. I don't have any steel. Find steel from. Right, there's some over there. Let's just set this. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff on the map which we can deconstruct, but there's loads of steel walls. 
which is good. So we can deconstruct that to get a lot of steel. However, we do need the steel in and of itself. So let's send this group out. We're going to have to go the long way around, unfortunately. Alright guys, come on. You can do it. Okay, so end of the second day. No, start of the third day. Currently, we've got a little barracks. We have got ourselves a table, some chairs, four beds. We have our butchering area done. We've got a fueled stove in preparation to make. And we're running out of food. We have four meals left, which is the morning meal. And we've got enough berries to make another three, which is not good at all. Now, why are you high on flake? You shouldn't be high on flake. I thought I forbade... Oh, have you got it in your inventory? You've got it on you. Oh, you freaking have as well. Great, so you're addicted to Psychite, which you're going to probably go through withdrawal for. And now you're on flake as well. I am going to have to make you give that up. Yes, you're going to have to give that up. I'll let you sleep, and then I'm going to make you drop it and forbid it. You cannot have it. need defences. I need meal sauce. Yes, thank you very much. You want cook Murray? No. Yes, Murray. Stop doing what you're doing. Butcher. Butcher and then make simple meal times four. Do until we have 20. So this should help alleviate the food situation for now. It's not a brilliant solution, but it will do. We'll just make as many meals as we need. So 16 meals will last us two days. 20 meals. Not so much. Should we make 24 so we can have three days of meals? Yeah, let's do 24. Okay, so what's everyone doing? Webster, you are hunting. Yuna is also hunting, which is good. Jash is cutting down the trees for wood. And Murray is doing some food things. We've got our defences. We have our meal sources. You know what? It's not going too badly. How long does it take to spoil? That'll take four days to spoil, so as long as we keep four days on the hand, then it'll be fine. I think maybe working on a refrigerator is going to be the next port of call. Ooh, we've got a visitor. Pyromaniac from Thaistan. Cool. Where are you coming from? You're coming from down there. I think maybe the medicine's more important than the food at this point. It won't take much to burn through the medicine we've got. Okay, let's accept that then. Who is our doctor? Of course he is. This guy can do everything, which is not good. Alright, we'll put self tend on you. So we're now the fourth day. We have beds, we have food, we have some defences. We've had our first visitor. I'm getting getting increasingly worried about this monolith because there's been corpses around it, which I didn't notice on the first day. There is now blood stains. Those bloodstains weren't there. There are twisted flesh coming from around it, but I can't see anything. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. There don't appear to be any injured creatures that would cause those bloodstains. None of my colonists are injured. Ooh, we've got a gift. Thank you. Very much appreciated, Ortega. Clean the kitchen. Good lad. Clean that area in there, and then clean the barracks. There we go. Three colonists idle. Okay. So what I need to do is I need you guys to dig out a kitchen for me. Not a kitchen, a freezer. Or a storage area where we can segregate our food. Yeah, dig out that area for me. And I think for a power source. So power source we've got generators, wind turbine, or geothermal generator. Which requires 340 steel. Okay. So, we're going to need to go find a bunch more steel. And where are we going to find- oh, there's a bunch of steel over here. Mine vein, mine vein. How many components does the generator take? Eight. Oh, we've not found our components yet. There we go, oh wow. I'm going to need someone to go fetch that. Yuna! Stop digging up the slate. Go fetch the components, we need those. Those are incredibly important to us. Oh, mad guinea pig. Alright, let's have a look. 
they are after our guys down here. So we're going to have to get them into defensive positions. Where is it coming from? Over there. There we go. Problem solved. We're at the end of day four, start of day five. Here's Webster is having a minor break risk. Why is that? Disturbed sleep, unsightly environment, rebuffed by Murray, darkness, drowsy, awful barracks, and psychotic withdrawal. Ah, yes. That is a problem. Oh, now you're on a major break risk. Okay, we can't be having that. However, I did just sell all the flake, which was going to be our way of combating that. So, whoopsie. So I think the next thing we're going to want to do is probably progress away from having a barracks. We've retrieved our components, and we've got plenty of steel now. We've got 499. So I'm going to want to designate designate this area to be cut trees so they can do that in the morning. We'll put the generator on there, and we'll start getting some electricity flowing. Uh, now the geothermal generator is a very, very powerful um, way of creating electricity in this game. It's a good job. Good job these guys are marines. Or, well, they were marines, they're now marooned. I have to just do out of mine up break risk. This is fine. I should probably think about burying those corpses. Let's bury, let's make a graveyard over this side. Let's make three graves over there for now. Alright, let's get some power going. So, what shall we call this place? Yeah, let's go for the Imperial Remnant. And this particular settlement. This can be just this can just be called Monolith. You've got a major break risk, so let's try and get you out of the darkness. Get your mood up a little bit. The focus is just to have fun. So we have power. Which is good. We're gonna have to defend this. I will put a wall around it eventually, but at the moment I do not have that luxury. Take 3600 watts of power all the time. Um, which is enough to power quite a lot of stuff. I think the coolers only use a couple hundred, maybe? Information. They need 200 watts. So, two of those. It's 400. We've got 3600. So we can, we've got a lot of juice to play with. So Lover has some Luciferium on them. Which is useful to know. But it's also incredibly dangerous, so it's been buried with them. So that just about offsets the psychic withdrawal. How are you doing with that? 10%? 27 days to recover. I don't know. Something weird is going on with this monolith, and I don't know how I feel about it. But regardless to say, what we need to do... Oh, I need farms! I need a research bench. Uh, let's get some farms planted, I think. Get a growing zone going. So actually... Do we want to? Can I do corn? Is corn better? It's 11.3 days to grow. And you get 22. Whereas the rice takes 3 days to grow. And you only get 6. Yeah, it is really about the same kind of yield. 22 for 11.3. And you'll get 24 over the same amount of time. The only difference being is that the rice plant will require 4 times as many harvests. Make it corn. You only need a small field for the moment, there's only four of us. Okay, let's have a look at our resources. We have a fair bit of steel, not much silver, 26 components. You know, all in all, it's not terrible. Right, Jash is making the conduits. Yuna and Webster are mining more steel. Murray is just cleaning up. What we are going to need to do is we are going to, I think, move over from barracks to separate bedrooms. That can be a project to do shortly. Setting up a temporary base of operations. We're six days in, and we, so far, we have a kitchen, a butchery, we have a freezer, which is very almost done. We've got our geothermal generator up and running. And we have a very temporary barracks, which... Oh, hello, we've got a raid. A raid, a raid, a raid alert. Not the fun kind of raid. So the Blue Ocean Pact are coming to have a look at our stuff. So what have we got? We've got one person who is naked and has a club. I'm sure we can take them. Alright guys, you're coming with me. Form up on the, on the door, on the double. Come on, you can get his attention from there. Good. 
and Jash. Come on, guys. You can do it. Nice. Uh, we don't have a prison. That's the only other thing. He's going to die in seven hours. Uh, are you any good at anything? Crafting. I'm capable of caring or being artistic or cleaning. So the best you can do is whack things. Crafting is not bad. Uh, do I have anywhere I can use as a jail cell temporarily? Not really. I need an enclosed space. Um, I suppose what I could do is I can enclose this area here. No reachable, unreserved, enclosed, prisoner, marked, bed, and safe temperature. Bugger. Can I tend to you? Because Jash is our doctor, as well as everything else. Alright buddy, you go stabilise. You go... Do other things. Get it enclosed, and I can just put a sleeping spot down. And it's a heat wave. Of course it's a heat wave! There's a heat wave. Heat waves can induce deeply, uh, deadly heat strokes. Stay cool by building either a passive or electric cooler. Getting deep underground. Okay, so this is not ideal. Outside it's 29 degrees, inside it's less than that. We've got the electricity to spare, so let's get a cooler. Let's get a cooler inside. Who's going down a tree? Mari, why are you doing that? Go to bed. Who's digging? You know, why are you doing that? Go to bed. What are you doing? Fine, you can go to rest. But in the morning, you need to get those conduits up and running because you guys are going to be very uncomfortable. In fact, you're already guessing that way. Slept in the heat. Oh, I do. Oh, he's infected. Bacchus. Okay. That is fine. I'm going to need some herbal meds. Uh, food's going to become a problem again very shortly if we're not careful. Low food. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Oh, uh, we also need to probably designate doing some hunting. Now, there was some muffalo over here, but I think they've left the map now. Oh no, there's a bunch of muffalo down here. Uh, I think I'll send out a hunting party. Likely Murray and Yuna. Drafted people. Let's move you guys down to a position where you can attack some muffalo. Alright, lads, form up. Open fire. Jesus Christ, it's 46 degrees outside. When they said it was a heat wave, they were not kidding. Anyone suffering from heat stroke yet? No, that's fine. As the seventh day of spring comes to a close. Oh, who's got a heat stroke? Jash. Of course you do. Get inside. Let's chill out for a bit. Simple meal has rotted away. That is fine. Oh, uh, that's what we need to do as well. We need to move meals into there. Use the risk of heat stroke, Jash. Still. Oh, and you've got food poisoning. Of course you fucking do. So we've got Webster suffering from withdra withdrawals. We've got Jash with ho uh, food poisoning. We are dangerously low on food. Stop digging, get a bed. Yeah, I think I was just being paranoid about. Stuff happening around the monolith. Looks to me everything is fine now. Right, um, Jash, before you do that, I need you to tend. Please. Tend to Bacchus, please. That infection is going up much faster than I want it to. You're probably going to die to infection, I'm afraid. Who's a medical emergency? Hang on. Lots of stuff happening here. Bacchus is a medical emergency, but I can't do anything about that. 88% 72. You're gonna die. 
very bracus. Oh, I see. When they're actually doing the cooking, the temperature of the room goes up. That's interesting. Food-wise, is food. 34 meals. Okay, not terrible. We're, we're in a better place. We're in a better position than we were. And Bacchus died. That is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. So at least these guys can just stay frozen. And the heat wave is over. That is brilliant. Lovely to hear. So Webster is burying Bacchus. Bacchus. Una is going for a walk. Jash is building a wooden barricade. And Murray is burying the muffler. Doesn't seem like there's anything too much going on. Okay, the sun is beginning to rise on the 9th of April May. We have a full freezer. We've got enough food to keep us going for a little while. Jash is already up. He has recovered from his uh, food poisoning, which is good. Webster is still going through psychic withdrawal and will be fine in 24 days. Everything else is going well. Unfortunately, the prisoner we took had died and has been buried. Bacchus the Hermit died to an infection. But life goes on. The heatwave has finished, and everything is looking to be looking up. Okay, Murray is busy cooking. Webster is hauling herbal meds. Nuna is also doing herbal meds. And clean the kitchen. We need to keep that kitchen clean. We don't want any food poisoning. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll just let these guys finish building the structures we've asked them to. We'll see what happens. So the rooms are done. The lights are on. Everything is looking good. Okay, so the psych psychic soothe is ending. The rooms are almost complete. We are slowly getting more wood, although we're running out of trees which have been designated to be cut. Here's our minor break risk. Jash. Why is that? Soaking wet, disturbed sleep, minor pain, darkness, unsightly environment, off the barracks and recreation staff. Why aren't you doing anything recreation? Oh, because I've put you just to be sleep on it for mine. There we go. That'd be why. Oh, and Yuna's also a minor break as well. Why are you a minor break? Go sleep. An innocent prisoner died? I should have just executed them before they got the infection. Oh, after they got the infection, but before they died of it. Well, they were still considered guilty. Okay, as the dawn breaks on the 11th of April, May 5500, Webster and Jash have been working diligently through the night cut down some trees to get more wood. Now Yuna... Yuna is unhappy. At disturbed sleep, you ate without a table. Your recreation was unfulfilled. The prisoner died and you are hungry. Well, Yuna, it's 8 o'clock. Get out of there. Get up, you lazy shite. Who's minor break rest, Webster? Why are you minor break rest? Instead of sleep soaking wet, inside the environment, drowsy, awful barracks, psychite withdrawal. Well, hopefully we'll get rid of the awful barracks. And the disturbed sleeps. Can't do much for all the others. Oh, Nuna. You're unhappy as well. Instead of sleep, awful barracks. Yeah, we can deal with those. Recreation deprived. Alright, Yuna. Yuna, 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 Yuna. Quit your bitching. Go do some meditation or something. Oh, why are you a major break? Webster, you're now a major break risk. That's not good. Why are you a major break risk? Tired, hungry. Alright, give that up. Go do some th something else. Get inside into the warm and the dry. You can clean, clean your room. Once you've finished meditating. You can clean your room once you've finished meditating. Once you've finished relaxing socially, you can clean your room. And once you've finished doing that, you can clean your room. Oh, your mood is very low. Okay, you can go to bed now. 
That should help offset it. Yours is okay. Yours is fine, I suppose. Yours is doing well. Again, we can offset the awful barracks because they're no longer in a barracks. That's another seven points to them, anyway. Okay, so plan. It's now the 12th of April, May. I'm going to need a plan. Um, I need some research to do. I also need to make a main storage and production area. So I think the main storage area could... Well, the production area could go in this middle area here, I think. Murray is the first up. And the mill, and off he goes. What are you doing? You're going to dig some walls. What are you doing? You know, you're also going to go dig some wool. Oh, Josh is, Josh is also up. What are you going to do, my friend? Have some food. Good choice. Do some recreation. Also a good choice. Webster, you're still... Not too bad. Extremely comfortable. Recreation is satisfied and your initial hope is still there. So that's fine. You're now moving out of the bad mood territory. Okay, so Murray is cleaning. Webster is moving some meat. Just restacking. You know, what are you doing? You're playing horseshoes. No, you're moving the medicine, then you're playing horseshoes. And Jash, you are finish finishing off people's bedrooms. Murray. Now I've got to deconstruct that because you've built a poor table, Murray. You can build a table faster than you can build a chair. That's interesting. But still, why are you having a minor break risk again? Because you ain't without a table. That's your own damn fault. Go to bed. As everyone goes to sleep. On the 13th of April, May now. Well, has come to a close. So what are we looking at? We are looking at, we've got four bedrooms, we have a generator, we've got defences, we've got a freezer, we've got a kitchen and a butchery, we have a prison, and we've got a makeshift storage area. So everything is going well. Everything is definitely going well. For now. What's Jash up to? What are you doing? Harvesting wild hill root. Murray is idling. Oh, because I don't have a research project. Here we go. Need a meal source. Uh, research. Let's do some tree selling. That's going to be very important. Okay, we need more steel. So let's go mine that vein there. Okay, so we've got some basic production. As the 13th of April May comes to a close, we have basic production. We've got a Machining table, stone cutter's table, a research bench. Um, we're upgrading our stove to electric. But we've run out of steel, which is not very good. A lot of this is very temporary while we get ourselves sort of situated. But the thing is with me, temporary becomes permanent, so... Oh well, this is how it's going to be. You know, you're supposed to be going to sleep now. Go on, go to bed. See what the night time brings. It is the 14th of April, May. The sun has just risen. Jash and Webster are early risers today. So Jash has gone to go get some steel from the recently mined area, whereas Webster is going to move some steel to a blueprint. Oh, you freaking idiot, Jash. Why did you do that for? You went all the way over there, had your food, and then came all the way back without doing the thing you went to do. Okay, what are you doing, Jash? Relaxing socially. Mary is moving chunks and then cloud watching. Yuna is going to go consume a simple meal. Webster is also relaxing socially. Aha, we've got the stove. The stove has been built. Good job, Jash. Webster is making some blocks. Murray is cooking. Both Yuna and Jash are 
busy mining. Why are you eating without a table, Uni? There's plenty of tables back at the base. So everyone's hard at work now on the 15th of April, May. We've got people digging for steel. We've got Webster build making blocks for us. Murray is uh, presumably going to cook. And it's just business as usual. In fact, get Jash is shooting up. We can send you on a hunting party with Yuna. And with Webster. Come on. All three of you can join us. That's right, that one went down. That's melee attack to improve melee. them and everyone can do what they need to do. Why were you digging? I thought I sent you to bed. Anyway, what's this? Disturbing vision. Webster has had a strange dream. In it, she saw a black shape unfurling in space and time, growing and consuming. The shape originated from a nearby crumbled monolith. Upon waking from the vision, Webster feels strangely drawn to the monolith calls to her. Oh, come on. Don't you dare. Don't you dare activate now, you bastard. The first of Jukas. Okay, so it's a, a month after landing here, the monolith has been implanting strange visions into my colonist's head. This is the thing we were sent to research. And so far, it seemed inert, inactive. When we arrived here, we found three bodies. And traces of blood and flesh, but they have all but disappeared. However, Webster has encountered a strange vision. Hopefully. This doesn't end in our downfall. 